Uh, okay, so basically it's uh, pretty much a three-hour course that's broken up, to part, broken up into parts. Um, so basically it's HIV 101 and it's also Faces and Voices. So HIV 101 is ba the basic information that we teach the kids about what HIV is, how you can get it, uh, what you can do to prevent yourself from getting it. And then we also teach them also stuff like uh, the, some medical parts of HIV and STIs. But we really um, focus our teachings on STI because that's what's common here in the Cook Islands. Um, and then we also go through demonstrations of um, how to use a condom, and then we also do role plays as well. Um, and then we do what's called Faces and Voices, which is a Pacific Island AIDS Foundation initiative. And basically it's uh, stories of people who are positive in the Pacific and what they went through. And basically we run that video with them. And then we do a, sort of a uh, group work. And basically they show us like what happened to the person who was HIV positive, how did they treat that person, and how would they feel if that person was, you know, how would they feel if it was them? And what this does is um, it reduces stigma and discrimination against those who are HIV positive and to, to hopefully one day, if we ever do receive our first HIV local reported case, then we won't um, treat that person as these people have gone through. Um, so yeah, that's what we hope to do. That's the aim of the, the program and that's the aim of the course. Um, they then share the knowledge or the information with their people on their different islands, okay, with their different youth. Um, and that's where youth peer education comes in. And then they will also be able to make better choices, better informed choices, okay? So now they have the knowledge and then they can go out there and decide for themselves what they want. And at the end of the day, you know, we can't always watch over them and make sure they do the right thing. But we can give them as much information as we can and hopefully they'll decide for themselves what they want. So everyone repeat after me, you can only tell, can only tell if, someone has HIV if someone has HIV through blood tests. I think it's important that, um, you know, a community comes together and support because at the end of the day, it's you know the community support and the parents' support that helps um, things to run very smoothly. And um, basically, what we're hoping to do is train these kids or train these youth how to organise themselves and become more self-sufficient, sort of thing. So not only teach them about you know how to present HIV, but also teach them how to organise you know functions, how to organise themselves in meetings. Um, so basically, what they do is we go through the basics of HIV and AIDS, and we also touch on um, preventions, and then we also touch on um, condom demonstration, we move into STIs, we move into HIV testing, so how is, you know, how does someone know they have HIV, um, and then we also touch a little bit on VCCT, which is Voluntary Confidential Counselling Testing, or Counselling Confidential Testing, and then we also touch on um, the whole um, medical side of HIV testing. Um, you watch kids who start off and then you watch them as they, you know, throughout the course they tend to pick up a lot of things. And for some of the students they have really, um, like really improved. Like there are some students who knew nothing in the beginning and now they know a lot. And it's important that they are able to hold that information. Yes. Who's that? 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 Who's that?